This is Dr. Jameson Frost. Initial check-ins. I've just arrived on the station and met the team. The UN didn't pull any punches with this group. There's enough PhDs in here, we could throw them all together and make a really boring-ass book. But I digress. I'm excited to get to work. I've always been fascinated by the deep sea, and now I have the best method in history to study what's down here. My name is Adrian Sakalov and I'm the main engineer that designed and built this facility. I've been gone on vacation for a few weeks after we finished the facility, but they brought me back in to keep an eye on things. They put me in the room with Dr. Garcia. Nice guy, he likes it cold, like, like I do, so I'm gonna mess with the AC settings in our room. Maybe I'll even show him that little nook I built into the wall where I keep the snacks. Ever try to have a conversation about your work as a seismologist with your biologist roommate? Nah, eh, probably not, but I have, and it's freaking impossible. Sarah completely ignored me until I mentioned there might be an earthquake, and she just was full of questions. I eventually resigned to just tell her it's probably nothing. Hope I'm right. This is Dr. Sarah Long. They want us to record our thoughts and discoveries on these wrist-mounted computers. I'm more of a written word kind of person, but this isn't so bad. My roommate is Dr. Weatherby. She is young and kind of wide-eyed, but she works hard. I could do without the brown nosing. I'm here to work and change the face of science after all. We must be getting desperate. We're having a physicist analyze our maybe fish, maybe not fish, unidentified life form. We have tons of data, but no point of reference. Cthulhu's skin is most adequately described as fish-like. He doesn't have bones, much like an octopus, but seems to have no issue forming rigid shapes with his muscles. 
We aren't sure if his form is a matter of preference or instinct, but we notice the amount of limbs he has, spots where he is bioluminescent, and even where his orifices are, are all subject to change. He has a highly developed brain, and the only thing I can call him right now is an octopus-fish-human hybrid. I've been studying, dissecting, and analyzing several specimens a week. This is a dream come true. Everyone here is excited about everything we are discovering, but I don't think they really appreciate the importance of our work. I mean, discoveries haven't been made at this rate since the turn of the 18th century. We could really be looking at something world-changing here. Dr. Mariana Flores doing initial check-ins. I got here first, so it was kind of lonely for a little while, but I soon met my roommate, Dr. Cerny. I told her that joke about what physicists and seismologists have in common, but I messed up the punchline and the joke didn't land. <sighs> Good job, Mariana. Should have just made a fish joke. <laughs> 